What's up guys, it's your boy RubyCupid and be back with another video and today we're filming a review on the Seata Beta S. It's quite, quite a long name, it's a Seata Beta S C R T D I S. Yeah, Seata Beta S. Uh, Seata Beta S C R T D I. Yes, this is a diesel. You know, yes, you heard me. This is a diesel. A blooming diesel, this is, yeah. So, I'm just going to go straight into the review. I like how you open the tailgate on this. It's one of these. Ha <laughs> ha. So, this is a 2013. And it's in absolutely... It's in quite good condition. Apart from a mark there and a dent there now before you jump into the comments and say oh what have you done to this poor thing this apart from that it's been really looked after it's passed it, it passed its latest mot it passed its it's passed all of its services it's very low mileage in fact i just get into the car Blimey. 31,000 miles. That is blooming low mileage. Especially for a car that's actually used, like, and so the owner of this car, blimey, okay, has had this um, since it was one year old, so they got this in 2014. I believe they got this july 2014 they found it was a very good car to run around and now we call it the buzz bomb this is well known uh, like if you probably see my mum going to uh, go to school in it once if you are uh, at the disco you've probably seen this car you probably recognize it it's what <laughs> i really like it it's, we call it the buzz bomb um it's really good condition apart from like it's in really good condition it like the only dent i'm quite brutal with the with the dents on this car with dents on cars and i was brutal on this car with the amount of dents it's not got that many at all it's only got two and they're and they're pretty minor anyway i bet you could probably fix them for about 200 quid so i'll just show you from the side there's me with my beautiful face. <laughs> hey. So you uh so shall we start from the rear, shall we? Uh, right, okay. Oh blimey. Now getting into the rear, I mean it's not the easiest process due to the fact that these doors don't open 90 degrees. But even then it's still quite easy to get in it's as easy as oh, oh and in we are so uh, you can see i've got a lot of headroom i've got a lot of leg room and plus if we just shut the door we've got wide windows and we've got um widey down windows oh blimey So what I found out is they go almost the, all the way down. They do nearly. Um, and unlike some rivals, you can fit three people abreast quite nicely. Although this this seat doesn't have a headrest, so whiplash. In fact, speaking of whiplash, let's talk a bit of safety then, shall we? Right. Okay. So this is a ba basic model, and even and even in this base trim, we've got stuff like, um, and even in this base trim, we've still got we've still got central locking, and we've got um, a five-speed manual. Um, so. I'm gonna just 
lock the keys there because there's no um because this is obviously a key ignition start there's not there's no key to start um there's no like place to hold your keys because you just have them in the ignition now in the front if i just mount okay Now, sorry, um, it is quite easy to get a, driving, a good driving position. I can move the seat forwards and backwards, and even someone who's five foot, they can still get a good driving position. And even then, there's a lot of room. It feels quite spacious. I've got a lot of headroom in the front. If you thought the back was good, I've got loads. Um... And this base model does have air conditioning, air conditioning, you don't find that in your Ford flipping Fiesta. Um, the dials are easy to read, I've got my um, zero, zero set thingy, trip computer, whatever it is. And even in this base trim, let's talk a bit of safety then. So, we've got four airbags, we've got ABS, and we've got, uh, and we've also got traction control we've got stability control we've got all of your typical safety features that the a3 has over there and it's quite a nice little car i've got great visibility the only problem which most people do complain about on this on the to beta is the rear i can't really see over the shot i can see over my shoulder but i mean it doesn't help that it's um been quite frosty today but I, I can't, I can't really see what I'm doing back over there, but I, I can see the front of the car. Even if I, if I just lay back, I can see my phone and I can see the wipers and I can see the front of the car. Um, but on the cheaper models, you've got to wind, you've got to use the mirrors manually. But then again, what do you expect? It's a cheap car, and it, in actual fact, it doesn't feel bad quality. Yes, the. There's a bit of cheap plastic up there, but apart from that, you, um, this model does have quite a bit of stuff. You can option, this car does have that option. Um, you've got um, colour interior. So, for if, I, you, if you come with me, um, stuff like there and there and there, you can have those in whatever colour you want and you can have different seats if you want like this this model does have like a bluish and it may look brown but that is actually blue so and from my point of view if you want to actually uh, i'll prove it for you if that that was mounted on my head that's mounted by my eyes that's the view i get and that's someone who's five foot three and a half um, I've got a decent, like the, stuff like the steering wheel and stuff like the gear knob as well, it feels, it feels quite good quality actually. We've got manual handbrake though. Um, so, not things that are bad, but there's things to love or hate. And we've got, you'll just see there. 1,411 miles and one engine in like but I'm blind it I need to get I need to just adjust the seat back sorry come on back back you come that's probably about what it was and you have got electric windows in the front that I'll just show you and you've got uh, control of the passenger one because that mo that one has Ugh. and I think it looks good from the side it looks all right being an entry-level model it has hubcaps but what do you expect it's an entry-level model all other models do get alloys um so the boot, 
boot. Okay. And I can't you open it. I love this. Oh, hello. <laughs> um. You can see you can fit a shopping bag. I bet you could probably fit about seven more in there. The boot is quite good and you could also fit a bit up there yes that is quite intrusive to the boot but that doesn't do much i bet i bet you've got at least 350 liters here which is about the equivalent of about 175 buxton bottles i bet you could probably fit about 175 two liter bottles in there um and from the back, it looks all right. So this is from Manchester. Motor Point. It's from Motor Point. There's my granddad's workroom. We've also got the Christmas decorations. From the side, it looks good. We've also got the hubcaps. And these are plastic but and i can forget but i can forgive some things this is the facelift model which came along in 2013 um and it's got the facelifted bumper it's got the facelifted lights it's got the facelifted there's quite a lot more there's um the facelifted side the side looks quite a bit different and um, we've also got the updated wheels. If you were to get an S in 2012 prior, you would get a you would get um, a slightly different rear and you get a slightly different but uh, speaking of all of the safety like when you put into account the um, in 2008, because of the four airbags, the ABS, the traction control, the stability control, it did score a five-star Euro NCAP safety rating. So if you are wanting to buy one of these Seta Beethers, they are quite cheap. Like, if we were to sell this, mo if, if you were to sell this model, I bet you'd get three grand out of it. It's really good. And it feels it feels nice inside. Um, not as posh as a Ford, no a Volkswagen Polo. Uh, but really, I think it's a good model, and you can go quite and you can go quite far with these. They are quite powerful as long as you go for something like a Cooper model. They're absolutely ballistic fast, and these aren't actually all that slow. Not to sixty. A fair 10 seconds. That's quicker than a Ford Fiesta, not 60. Um, we've also got the updated grill. We've got the... It's quite mean and aggressive, actually, I think. If we just give it a little shot. <laughs> it's quite... It is actually quite... It's quite nice. You know what? I'm happy with this car. I think it's done it. I think it's done the owners well for five years. And I'm gonna miss it when it gets passed on to me. Cause this is gonna be my next this is gonna be my first car. I'm so looking forward to it. Now I know I've got six years to wait but I'm so looking forward to seeing what this thing can perform on the road. I'm so looking forward to checking out its performance. Now, the owner of this car said it was fun to drive. It was, it was, it was nippy, but a bit body rolling in the corners. But it's still fun. You can call that. But on the motorway, it's a bit noisy. So, so but it, in town, it's a great companion. So if you do live in your local town, or you don't really go out or, or you rarely go on the motorway these things are quite nice and i think you should consider one over a ford fiesta i really do um 
So yeah, there you go. There's the state of Ibiza for you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.